Anurag Kashyap is here with his Netflix directorial venture Choked, starring Siami Khair, Roshan Matthew, and Amrita Subash in lead roles. After a successful critical stint with Mukabaz and Manmarzia, and whatever was the bizarre story he made in Ghost Stories, Kashyap has brought us a thriller that focuses on a low middle class family based in Mumbai. The movie sheds light on a bank teller wife and unemployed husband, their annoyingly connected and vocal society members, only for one fine day for the main character to find Indian currency notes emerging from the drain. This would, in any situation, be like having a glimpse of the light at the end of the tunnel or hope in an otherwise mediocre. life this is when the government announcement of demonetization hits the main character like a jolt how the story develops from there leading to several interesting revelations is the premise of choke it is also to be noted that despite being entirely different from a character standpoint the premise and the development of the storyline is very similar to the 2019 marathi film naseeb ban But as it is revealed that Choke has been in development since 2017, then maybe it's clear that plagiarism rumors can be vanquished. Getting right into it, here is me presenting the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether the movie is worth it or not. The underwhelming aspects: lack of subtlety in Anurag's politics. If you are an Anurag Kashyap fan, then you know the director throughout his career has presented his personal opinions through his fictional stories. I'll give you one example. No Smoking was actually made for the sole reason that his first two films got banned, and he was pissed off. The film was a big middle finger to the censor board, who actually thought that the film was an anti-smoking film. So he is a director who makes his personality come out through his stories. Now, what is the issue? issue when it comes to this film see anurag's political views are in my opinion presented in its most effective manner if they're showcased through subtlety and many times through subtext which was clear through a film like no smoking in joked as well his political hatred towards the current state of indian journalism as the tv plays in the background covering the diet of the prime minister or the effect of demonetization on the working class people like a teller in a bank who clocks out at the right time and is berated but tells a character that she should act the government that she has voted for rather than her it was effective real and true to the characters in the film but despite kashyap claiming that he resisted from really showcasing his political ideology in this film he really goes in for the kill for 10 to 15 minutes in the movie dedicated just to showcase the resentment he has for the prime minister and his ways it is showcased through visuals that people stand in long lines outside the banks and then there are visuals of people with modi masks and the prime minister as well at an event beating drums side by side characters are seeing the news and singing praises of how many months the prime minister Mr went on a banvas and a character like Roshan Matthew with a blank expression looks on it's also interesting that Roshan Matthew is also a character who is a deadbeat and nonchalant throughout the film but suddenly starts caring about the political opinions in the household i guess kashyap just couldn't resist for those 15 minutes i genuinely felt that the journey of sarita and sushant was enough to shed light on the effect on the working class especially low middle class families due to demonetization thankfully after the quick detour and rant taken by anurag kashyap we get right back to business what we love the story the good writing relevance and characters one thing that cannot be denied is that the film possesses impeccable and spot on writing by nihit bhave as kashyap has previously stated choked brings in the forefront stories of the common people the individuals that are working towards their daily survival of food shelter clothes and education and there is no concept of them slowing down these are characters which are reminiscent of any of the characters in a sai paranj pe film as the director rightly has pointed out in several interviews movies like sparsh Katha and Disha all focus on the arduous journey to survive and thrive in a thankless city like Mumbai. The characters represent the crowds we are part of, be it in the vegetable market or in the local trains. They carry on with their horse blinkers on, never having the time to self-reflect on their state and how life turned out the way it did. The movie brilliantly captures the paper-thin walls of a living society, the nosy and inquisitive nature of humans to know intimate details of each other, mainly to cope with their own uneventful lives. The love that gets lost between couples transitioning to just codependence. It sheds light on how, especially with abrupt regulation decisions by the government, the poor and the middle class of India suffer the most. Yet they. march on even in the misery because their life revolves around sustenance and survival on a daily basis they don't have time to rant on twitter they need to make sure they have food on the table it is a breath of fresh air to get a story of characters that represent the majority of india 
Kashyap staples. If you have witnessed Kashyap's filmography, you can easily point out staples of the director that shine in several moments. Techniques that are unique to especially him. Kashyap really dwells in imagery from the eyes of the main character Savitri. This technique sheds light on her unfulfilled aspirations, which by the way correlates to why metaphorically the movie title is what it is, as well as the worst case scenario as she finds herself in a situation too good to be true. Kashyap also is known for his brilliant use of music in films. This similarly happens in Choke with the use of percussion sounds and beatboxing in order to build up the intrigue as characters are heading towards something being revealed. He also has the knack of putting playful music in the most morbid situations that may not be appropriate but somehow just feel right. Performances. The biggest highlight, however, in this film are the spectacular performances by the three main characters. Roshan Matthews Sushant is so comfortable in front of camera. I still have not seen his work in Muthon, but he possesses absolute ease in his role as the disgruntled, unmotivated, and aimless Sushant. The character is an apt representation of when life throws several setbacks towards you. It somehow brings out the worst characteristics of the person, leading to the people closest to you drifting apart. Sayami Khair is such a revelation in this film with her portrayal of Savitri. You realize with this film that she was so underutilized in a movie like Mirzia. She showcases range as well as a sense of comfortability as a middle class working woman in Mumbai. Her apathy towards her husband, her succumbing to what has become her reality which is ghar, kaam, khana or safai is also the story of many women in the country just providing selflessly. This will be a great example for casting directors and producers that Kher is an actor that deserves to get way more work. The star. The absolute star of the show, however, is Amrita Subhash as Tai. Somewhat of a drama queen, inquisitive, loud and a character everyone has in their colony. When you get to know that Amrita in several scenes is actually improvising, you realize what a master class of an acting performance this truly was. From her holding Savitri's hand until she has the opportunity to rant to her or when she shouts in agony only to quickly transition to check whether the gas is still on. Amrita as Tai will stay with you. She steals the show in my opinion. The film as it develops in the second half really makes you question the preconceived notions or judgments of the characters you had initially done. Its penultimate sequence and the big reveal is very meticulously designed. I would like to conclude by saying to avoid Kashyap presenting his politics through his films is a distant reality. But the important point is beyond that does it translate into a relevant original and engaging thriller? I definitely think so. You're not going to get complex action sequences or hard hitting quotable dialogues, but what you will get is a realistic representation of human nature a story from the perspective of the class of people barely represented on the big screen and will make you introspect on the bigger question which is how much is enough and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants 4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching